hi everyone and welcome back to your channel in this video we are going to install this brand spanking new molmo model from ln ai locally and then we are going to test it out molmo is a family of open state of the art multimodal ai models this is one of the most powerful model which closes the gap between open and proprietary systems across a wide range of academic benchmarks as well as human evaluations the smaller models have already outperformed models 10 times their size in this molmo family of models for the purpose of this video we are going to install this molmo 7 billion d0924 which is the release date locally and this is a multimodal model which means that it can accept text and images as an input and then it produces text output we know that yesterday due to the release of llama 3.2 everything else got eclipsed in ai molmo was released just before llama 3.2 and i was meaning to cover it when i saw llama 3.2 models and then took it over but i can assure you that this these molmo models are no less competitive than the llama 3.2 model i know it's a tall claim but i will tell you the reason why i am also equally excited about these molmo models um, from ln ai also this primarily shoots off from the older olmo models i already have covered them last year and it is quite good to see them in the multimodality so if you're interested in their olmo models please search my channel and you should be able to find few videos around it now coming back to this model before i install it let me also give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out so Molmo is a new fam family of state-of-the-art vision language models starting from a pre-trained vision encoder or clip and language only LLMs the entire family of their VLM pipeline including weights, code, data and evaluation is open and free from VLM distillation and that is a key thing Apache 2 license all open all free what a time we are living in and this there there is one thing which I would um, really stress extremely solidly is the data set which they have built this model and I will talk more about it and that is a key innovation. That data set is highly detailed image caption data set that has been collected entirely from human annotators using speech based description and that is really really amazing. That is called as Pixmo and I will talk more about it. To enable a wide array of capabilities, they have also introduced a diverse dataset mixture for fine tuning. This includes innovative 2D pointing data that enables Molmo to answer questions not just using natural language but also using non-verbal cues. They also say that they believe that this is going to open up really important future directions for vlm in virtual and physical world now let's have a quick look at their pixmo data set so the most critical ingredient to the success of this molmo family of models is pixmo molmo's training data Pixmo includes two broad categories of data. First is dense captioning data for multimodal pre-training and secondly supervised fine-tuned data for enabling a wide array of user interactions including behavior like question answering, document reading and pointing. Their primary constraint in the collection of this data is to avoid making use of existing VLMs because they wanted to build a performant VLM from the ground up rather than by distillation of an existing system. And that is why I believe that this Molmo model is not only unique because it has been built from scratch with a new data set and with really careful planning but also that it opens up new vistas in vision language models. 
and you can read more about it in this model card i'm not going to go into more theoretical details let's get right into it and start installing as you can see that this is my ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let's clear the screen first up let's create a virtual environment with conda i'm just going to call it molmo with python 3.11 let's wait for it to get activated that is done let's install all the prerequisites which include torch torch vision transformers let's wait for it to finish all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen let's also launch our jupyter notebook and we will download and install this model in our jupyter notebook let's wait for it to get launched in the browser environment okay so this is our jupyter notebook next up let's import the libraries which we have installed and also grab the model so let's download it so the model has started downloading with the process processor so let's wait for it to finish downloading it is going to take a bit of a time and there are seven shards of it so make sure that you have around 30 to 35 gig space available on your disk let's wait for it to finish and the model is almost downloaded and now let's try to do the inference for that it's a usual stuff where we are just giving the input with this image and let me show you the image from the url so this is the image we are going to use and now that we are putting the models uh, all the parameters to the device which is a CUDA which we are using our GPU and then we are using this model to generate the output from that text which has been tokenized and then it is being decoded back and then printed out and we are just simply asking uh, from the model to describe the image and the model has responded back let's check out the response if i show you the image again so that's a image of a dog a black dog and the model says the image captures a young black lab labrador puppy so not only model has identified the breed of the dog but also sort of an age to around six months old sitting on a weathered wooden deck the puppy's sleek short fur is entirely black including its nose eyes and all that stuff and slightly ears are slightly floppy so you see the ears are really floppy the dog is positioned in the center of the frame looking up directly at the camera with a curious and attentive expression its front paws are visible with one slightly tucked under its body amazing stuff the overall composition is simple yet striking very nice very high quality now in the next example instead of a url i'm just going to go with a local image from my um, local directory and you can see that i have just given it a cathedral image that's a saint stephen one and i'm asking it to describe the image and if you look at the output it says that the photograph captures a grand ornate cathedral set against a bright blue sky dotted with large fluffy white clouds how good is that the cathedral constructed from white stones which are a series of this very nice so but it hasn't mentioned anything about which cathedral is that so i was hoping it would do it by itself but let's see if i change the prompt and it tells us where it is located describe the building in the image and where is it located let's see so let me run it and while it run let's also check out the GPU usage of the model. I'm just going to run here NVIDIA dash SMI. And you can see that it is just using over 35 gig of VRAM. So make sure you have at least 48 GB of VRAM, which I am using. Okay, so let's go back. So it says, okay, so it, it was unable to identify it. It says the building in the images in the is the Ulster Museum located in the Belfast. No, that's not correct. It is a St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna, Austria. Okay. Look at it. And maybe I'll just give it a hint, which I shouldn't be, but let's see if it is able to do it or not. No, Austria, sorry. 
okay let's run it let's see if it is able to do it now and there you go so after the hint it was able to identify it correctly that the building in the image is stephen's dome a magnificent gothic cathedral located in vienna very nice okay next up let's see if it is able to tell us the time in the image so it says as uh, so i have just asked it okay i think i needed to fix my prompt my apologies let me see what is the time in the image let's see if it is able to do it now let's wait for it and there you go so it says the time shown in the image is 150 the hour hand is positioned just before the two indicated it's past one o'clock but not yet two the minute hand is pointing to the 10 which represents 50 minutes past the hour this configuration clearly displays 150 on the clock face that is really really good stuff okay and many models i have seen in the vision one they failed this test let's try out one more so this time i have given it an ornate clock so let's see if it is able to uh, detect the time here so it says the time shown in the image is 10 10 the hour hand is positioned just past the 10 while the minute hand is pointing precisely at 2 which represent 10 minutes past the hour so what do you think i will leave the decision to do that which one is the higher one which one is the lower one in the next one i am asking it that i am driving which lane should i take in this image there you go so it says as a driver you have two main options in this image the right lane which is designed for autos buses and rvs this lane is clearly marked with a green downward pointing arrow indicating its correct choice for these types of vehicles the left lane which is closed there's a prominent sign indicating lane closed given these choices the right lane would be the appropriate lane to take if you fall into the autos buses and rv categories this lane is likely designed to manage traffic flow more efficiently for these larger vehicles that's good really good stuff let's try out ocr so i'm asking it to extract the text from the image and just print text as is don't give any other commentary so if you look at it it says a quick brown fox jumps over this looks good looks good so most of the stuff is really good uh, the only thing which i could see that for example if you see towards the end it says rapida whereas this rapida in the image has umlaut on top of a which it has missed i don't see any umlaut here but all in all not bad i would say but uh, i would say the ocr seems average here whereas other models which for example we see the llama 3.2 11 billion one that was quite good in ocr big stroll is quite good in ocr but this seems average to me in the next test i'm asking it that what country is shown in the image let's see it's so uh, it shows simpson desert which is located in australia look i i'll be honest this is one of the best responses i have received for this image because it's not easy really because this desert landscape is quite similar to very scissor but this color of soil um, this is typical to australian outback and this one is actually from western australia simpson desert which it has um, got right so really very very good stuff very impressive as a last test i'm asking it to count the living things in this image so this is just again a landscape from australia there are three kangaroos there are 13 birds on the top right and then there is a tree let's see what it does it says that counting the points okay i don't think so that's a good one it says anyway it says living thing in this image living thing shows a total of 15. so well one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah close enough but not really close let's try out uh let's try out another one or maybe if this one fails i'm going to ask it specifically about counting the birds so it again failed so i'm just going to ask it to count the birds in this image let's see what it does so there are 11 it says that there are 11 birds whereas there are 13 birds at the top 
but the count of kangaroos it has done correctly there are only three kangaroos okay good stuff well just a 7 billion model but still really good enough and i think it really competes with the larger models very nicely ocr is lacking but otherwise the rest of it is quite quality so that's it i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching